When you want to copy and save a circuit in AutoCAD Electrical, you don't just want to use the copy selection command. So don't do this. Just don't go and select all of it like this using a crossing selection, for example, and doing the right click and then using copy there. You don't want to do that. The reason being is all of that circuit that you've got there already is linked to the AutoCAD Electrical Project database. If you just do a copy, that's going to replicate what's already there. That could cause chaos later on down the line with the electrical project. You need to use the copy circuit command. Let's just hit escape there to lose that menu and hit escape again to lose the selection. What I'm going to do is use a new drawing. So there's my JIC wiring schematics three. I'm going to make that active in the project. So let's go over to the project, right click, add active drawing. Yes, to applying the project default values and off it goes. There's 003, JIC Wiring Schematic 3. And as you can see, the numbering and the naming is consistent. So let's use this copy circuit command. The copy circuit command is on the schematic tab. And on the ribbon, it's the edit components panel. And it's just here, copy circuit. So I'll select copy circuit and it asks me to select the objects to copy. Click and drag for my crossing selection window. Make sure I've got all of the circuit there. Press enter or right click to confirm and it'll ask, as usual, for a base point or displacement. What we need to do there, make sure you've got your object snap and your polar on down here on the status bar. Just makes life that little bit easier. So I'll snap there to the end point snap, click, and as I drag, the polar tracking kicks in, so it keeps it all nice and horizontal and level. And as I drag that across, I'll just click again to place it. I then get this, copy circuit options. Now, these bits here, blank all and retag all, I haven't got, they're grayed out. But because I've got terminals, it's asking me, do I want to keep the existing terminal numbers on the new copied circuit? Do I want blank terminal numbers so I can go and edit them? Or do I want to increase the terminal numbers? Well, in this case, I'm going to select increase the default and click on OK. And as you can see, it ticks on through there and you'll notice the command line flashes through various commands. And if I zoom in now on those terminals, you'll see there, look, five six, seven, eight. So what it's done there is it's added to my one, two, three, and four. So it's got to four and thought, ah, I've got a copy now. I need to copy those terminals. There's four of them, five, six, seven, and eight. So I'll just double click on the wheel there to do a zoom extent. I've got an exact copy of this left-hand circuit on the right, but all of the circuit information has been updated. So the terminal numbers in this case have been updated for me. That's why you always use copy circuit. It's very important. Don't use copy selection. So what we'll do next is we'll look at how we actually save a circuit into the insert components panel. And that way we can just place the circuit as if we were going to the icon menu here to place a symbol. Again, we have another new drawing available to us, which is JIC Wiring Schematic 4. As usual, we select the project, we right click and add the active drawing. I'll just say yes to that and we'll just get that sorted out. As you can see, I need to update the sheet number there. So we'll just quickly do a properties there, drawing properties and change that sheet value to four. Now I know I'm repeating that over and over again to get you to add these drawings to your electrical project. It's so important though. And repetition aids retention in any learning capacity. If you do things over and over again, it becomes second nature and you remember it. Very important. In the previous video, what we did was we looked at copying a circuit. Now, instead of having to copy over and over again, wouldn't it be nice to have our circuit saved somewhere as like a full AutoCAD block? Well, you can do that. You can add it to the icon menu here. So over here, we've got our icon menu. So if I click there at the moment, you can see that we've got all this information here and I can actually add my own circuits and circuit layouts to this and actually insert them as circuits. So that's very, very helpful. If I've done an entire circuit and I don't want to have to do it all over again or copy it, what I can do is I can actually save it to a menu and insert it. So I've got my circuit here with my terminals and my jumpers. What I'm going to do is go here to the edit components panel on the schematic tab. If I click on the down arrow, there's copy circuit, but we can also save the circuit to the icon menu. So if I click there now, it takes me into the icon menu, 
and it takes me into the saved user circuit section. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go up to add and I'm going to add a new circuit. So that will bring up the dialog box and ask me for the name of the new circuit. I'm just going to call it wiring ladder one. The image file, now I don't have an image file, but what I can do is I can make it from the active view, like so. Now at the moment I've got all the title block and everything in there, but the nice thing is I can hit zoom, I can zoom in and get that wiring circuit in place. You'd do this a lot more specifically than if you were doing it in training like this. I'm just going to press enter there to confirm, and there's my new view there. And what I can do is I can also pick from the drawing. So I could actually select a block if I wanted to, if there was a block that I'd made up of a particular circuit. I haven't, so I'll just hit escape in that case. Now we need to give the drawing file a name because what it does is it takes this circuit and puts it into a file, a DWG file. So what we'll do, we'll call it wiring ladder one again. Now make sure that you've got things spelt correctly. Always worth doing a sanity check before you click on OK. So everything's done there. I'll click on OK and it asks for a base point. I'll use that endpoint snap there for now. Prompts me to select all the objects that make up the circuit that I'm going to bring in. Like so. There we go. So I press enter to confirm and it updates that and there's my wiring ladder one. So that's in place. I'll click on OK now. And that is now in the database. Now I can insert a circuit very easily now from the icon menu. It's very, very easy to do. I just go up here to the icon menu. It's just a case of locating where my user circuits are. They are in miscellaneous right here. There's my user circuits icon there. Click there and there's my wiring ladder one. So if I select that now, it asks for a custom scale. I want to leave it as one to one. I'll update the circuit's text layers as required. Now the good thing is, all of my text layers that I've used are already existing in this drawing. So all I've got to do is click on OK. There's my circuit using that insertion point. What I might do there is hover over that end point and drag horizontally. That way I know it's level and I'll bring it into there and click like that. Now it updates all the cross-referencing again. So if I look at this top circuit here, that one is number one, you can see there. If I look at this top circuit here, that one is also number one. So it has inserted it using exactly the same numbering. So what you might need to do there, doesn't do this automatically, is you need to obviously click there, right click, and make sure that you check the attributes. You might need to edit attributes. So if you edit the attribute there and select that attribute there, you're going to need to change that up to five and OK it and obviously do the same for the rest. So that one there would then become six. You can obviously type it in rather than clicking on the arrows and OK it like so. I'll just press enter there to finish, but you can see that you do need to edit because you are inserting a new circuit using the same numbering as the previous circuit that you saved. So just be aware of that when you use the save circuit option, when you save it to the icon menu.